Stop. Wait a minute. Let me put some boom in it. Hey, man, don't do. <laughs> hey, shout out, man. Shout out to our sponsor, Coldest Water. Man, you know what I'm saying? Let's show, show them what you got. Show them the goodness. You see that? You that, All right, that, guys. that peach mango over there? Let's see. Hand up the box. Whoa, bro. Look at that. This is so cool. We love, you know, if we're not short, we are no short of coldest water. We love coldest water, keeping our water cold. If I want some cold, cold water, I use my coldest water. Every time I try to put it in my little plastic jug, it never works. I always have to put it in this if I want it ice cold. You That's hear me? Right. Mm -hmm. Hey, and also, man, if you put in code CS in the referral link below, it will give you 10% off your order, man. Who don't like a discount? I love I forgot a discount. that it's engraved, guys. Oh, engraved oh yeah. Yes. Show, what is it showing the back? What is it? Like? and Snuffle. Shout out. Love Sorry it. for the light. The light throwing up with it. This is and... a peach color, too, by the you way. You can get them. You can get yours engraved and say whatever your name is. You know what I'm saying? Love it. Thanks, Coldest Water. I love it. Appreciate y'all. Thank you. Other way around. Get him, girl. I, we, wait, I, wait, I just, I just want to respond, and I, I just want to keep That's them clapping the because if we go back decades ago, people were having children in their teens. But, but very, people, people were being married in their teens. So now you're up. telling me, I'm now telling, you're yes. telling me it's, it's, it's all it false. No, we can look up that one site, but I'm talking about other individuals and other people who have proved that we needed sex ed in our schools to wake our children up to the fact that there are diseases that can kill them. It was sponsored by Planned Parenthood dollars. It was sponsored now, by Planned Parenthood dollars. Now, we, 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 dollars, we, can, we can and argue. And the idea was to get these We can kids argue a lot not, of not, things, but you, the you truth cannot, is the truth. I just the told truth you the truth. Is, no, you told me what you read in a book who, about a person who you admire or, or you choose no, to adopt. No, not about a person who I admire. It's, it's someone who you choose to adopt their philosophies. Not, the problem with this country, the problem, the problem with this country is we take the words of people on TV. We take the words of politicians. Instead of doing research for ourselves, we live in a society where people perpetuate lies and it continues to create this divide in our country instead of looking at the truth. Okay, but well, he's saying, so instead of doing research for ourselves, in order to do the research, you have to have an official IRB. You have to be connected to some type of university. You got to have a research pool. You got to have confidentiality agreements. You got to have a research you know, you got to have participants. You got to have people who are going to do the data. You got to you got to write it, you know. So in order for us to do the research. And when he says research, he means finding the information from a valid source, not doing the research yourself because you're not going to be able to do the research yourself. OK, the way a true research project is done to derive at the results that. You want to get from whatever the topic or whatever the thing is you're trying to find out. The average person is not going to be able to do the research. So you're going to have to go and get it from other people who have done the research. The research. Mm. What is our aversion to the truth? The truth offends people now. People don't want to hear the truth. Why? True. Because there's so many people out here spinning the truth. Well, I just told you the truth, so I just want to tell you, you that. You told me your truth. No, I didn't tell you the truth. You Thomas Sowell is not a politician. He's actually a researcher. Yeah. Getting back to research. Right. He, so, so Thomas Sowell is Jesus, and the rest of these people are simple followers who know nothing about this. Hold on, hold this. on. Kids these became more sexualized. More kids. I worked on this as a kid. I was a pure sex educator okay. as a kid. Okay. I worked on this. Let's get to this. Um, let's get to something that we agree with. Let's, yeah. let's, let's go. throw that in there because that is um, so right. a good way to move on. Different. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but let's get to something that we agree with. It's so you had ratings. a video that um, went viral, and I have been kind of beating the drum about these vaccine mandates and how, A, un unconstitutional they are, but also just so reminiscent of atrocities that have happened in the past. Um, and you had a video that went viral, so let's watch that clip of you in New York. Vaccine is a choice, okay? It's a choice. You shouldn't exclude people from everyday activities because they choose not to engage in something. The government story on the vaccines have changed every one to two months since Donald Trump. The, the vaccines have had effects that, that, that people come out and say, oh, well, you know, that never happens. But they do happen. People die. Joe Biden said that folks wouldn't be hospitalized. People are being hospitalized and dying. Yet again, I'm not telling you not to get it. I'm just saying you should have a choice. That is well said. I'll ask you a personal question. Are you vaccinated? 
Hell no. Okay, I'm not. I'm that. sorry. <laughs> Me neither. Me neither. Yeah. So, can you just explain to us, kind of give us an inside track of what's going on in New York City right now and what is the response that you're getting to this, which to me should be common sense that people should have a choice as to whether or not they want to inject chemicals into their body, but under this administration, it's apparently not. I mean, now that I have your audience's ear, right? <laughs> oh. <laughs> I didn't just wake up one day and become right on one topic, right? As a leader in this movement, as a man who has a business degree and a law degree, someone who has fought for our people, who has served our people, someone who's followed Christ, right? This movement, this, this movement for the liberation of black people, we're right on a lot of topics. And what I ask conservatives and people who don't usually listen to us to do is actually open your mind and listen to the things we're saying. Get past what's in front of you and, 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 and just try to understand where we're coming from. So now we're here at these, um, at these vaccines, you are full aware of the fact that black people have been experimented on in medicine since slavery. This is nothing that we can argue. Uh, I covered it on the show. Yeah, yeah. It's nothing to argue about. It's the truth. It's, it's the truth, yeah. right? Say it again. Tuskegee experiment, 100% the truth. Come on, what else? Yeah. What else? <laughs> like, that's, that's, that's about it. it. Yeah. <laughs> nah, give it to them. What else? Well, well under slavery, they technically slaves were property. So beyond slavery is what I think is almost the most interesting element because mm -hmm. we're talking about an experiment that ended in the 1970s. It's very recent. The same yeah. CDC, they never were disbanded. The same you know, human health services they never were disbanded. In fact, they've been promoted and they have more money and power than ever. And uh, we've never been in America where they said you're, you're gonna be forced to either not be able to move in society or inject yourself with something that has been approved for, you know, I guess now it's just patently approved, um, but it's problematic. Me personally, because of all the, men all the reasons you mentioned and I mentioned, I'm not taking a shot. Someone asked me, what's my burden of proof to make me take it? I don't know. I'll know it when I get there. Um, but these, these, this vaccine and this passport has shifted the narrative in a lot of ways. Because right now, they've made these vaccine passports freedom papers, right? And it's so funny because Time forward, I think this came out. Um, I forgot when this, I don't know when this dropped. This might have been like a year ago. And it's so funny. Now nobody don't care about them passports no more. You don't hear nobody talking about that no more? Oh, for the uh, vaccine. Time forward. So, mm -hmm. with, so if you're looking at, we're technically in the future right now. When we look at this video, we're in the future. Okay. So we're looking back in the past mm -hmm. and be like, yeah, no, it ain't going to matter. <laughs> I tell you, they ain't going to care about it no more. Yeah. To where police, to where business owners, to where people who do not like black people can use these vaccine passports as a way to harass and oppress black people. So you look at Carmine's, and um, y'all will love this, right? Carmine's, in my opinion, was the biggest fake news story of 2021. Why? You had these three women who were seen on TV pummeling this little Asian woman, right? And what the story that Carmine's ran with and New York City politicians ran with was they were asked for this vaccine and they re reacted violently. But what they didn't explain was that this woman taunted them from the time they arrived. I could lead you through a long sequence of events but there was this condescending tone in her voice. There was racism. There was a racial slur mentioned to these people. Okay. Now, I can't even dispute any of that. And yeah. I, I, I have not followed that story closely enough. Mm -hmm. But I do want to know that obviously because of the story the situation that happened in Carmine's, Black Lives Matter is now, you know, actively saying they want an end to vaccine mandates. Yeah. What has been the response? And this is interesting because in New York, all the politicians were very yeah. pro Black Lives Matter during the election cycle. Okay. We haven't seen any of these, you know, that same amount of support since Biden got into office. I have said to you that I think Black Lives Matter is very much used to elect politicians. And then once the politicians are in office, nobody cares anymore. Here's the thing, Candace. We talked about this years ago. And what did I do? I agree with you. You want to know when Black Lives Matter will have another rise again? It'll be the next presidential election. I'm going to go, next, I'm in the midterms. Or the next, yeah, yeah it'll be the next election cycle. Yeah. So with that being said, I just want to walk you through the how we got to this place, and I'll make it quick. 
These four, three women were walking back into the restaurant. They were, they were going in. They were escorted by a manager. And this woman stepped into the hallway and said something. There's no audio, but all four women turned and looked like, what did she say? And they went outside and they handled her, right? Now, a lot of people might say, hey, Hawk, this audience is like, Hawk, what are you talking about? They handled her. They put hands on her. But I, I was over by a bunch of honky-tonk bars. Right. And I know those people over there get drunk and brawl a lot. OK, like even, people, people fight that. over disrespect. So if you come and say something to me that has been a racial trigger to my people for hundreds of years and I put my hands on you, there is no one who can judge you for being violent Hawk, in that situation. Hawk, Hawk, we're, not we're not what they did, what they did, what they did was this woman antagonized them. But the politically savvy thing to say was it was the vaccine. Okay. That's how they covered okay, up racism. Now, okay. so let me, let me, let me, well, yeah, let me, let I just want to jump in here. I, you know, I agree with you that people shouldn't blindly take the vaccine. If that's what you want to do, do your research. Yeah. It should be a choice. People shouldn't be made to do that. Mm -hmm. However, I disagree with this being racial. How so? I, I don't believe that it's racial. You know, just because there's disparities doesn't mean that there's discrimination. Thomas Sowell wrote a book about that, Disparities mm -hmm. in Spinning. Y'all love this man. He's great. And you, is this like a cult? Do you know who Thomas is this, Sowell is? No, I have to read up on him. I, is this you don't like know who Thomas cult? Sowell is? Yeah. I do not. I, okay, I, so after you get off the show, go look yeah. at Thomas Sowell. They have a documentary. You can look it online. Mm -hmm. He's the smartest, most brilliant man, black man to ever exist. Okay. Smartest guy. You're, smartest black man. To smart ever man. exist. Smart and Malcolm X. To ever exist. Smart and Jesus. To ever exist. Smart and Jesus. To ever exist. Because that was a smart black man. Yeah, you know, Jesus wasn't just a man, so we yeah, can't count okay. Jesus like that. Okay, right, so let's, I like let's how he, go. I like how he tightened that up. Yeah. <laughs> let's go. Don't compare, boo boo. Don't compare. Get it. Black though, right? So, yeah, but what I'm saying is that, well, you could say he had darker skin. I mean, we can go down that argument. But anyway. But let's stay we, focused. Yeah. We're, we're going right. to stay, fo we're, we're stay right. focused on this. So I don't think it has much to do with race, but I think it's a correlation here, right? And on a side note, he was brown because it was, um, is that Polynesian, is that Polynesian Jewish? So it was just like, it was not, it was Palestinian, Palestinian Jewish. I forgot. Mm -hmm. But it was it was more of a brown mm -hmm. teal, so you know, I, anyway, just saying that to say, just leaving that alone. Mm -hmm. um, you see that these vaccines disproportionately affect Black people. Yeah, the same way with uh, certain other things in our society that disproportionately affect Black people, uh -huh. like the welfare state and other things that Democrats do, mm -hmm. disproportionately affect Black people. And so I see a Republicans have had their hand in racist policies. We could talk about you, you could talk about a hand, but I'm talking about the overall scheme here. You cannot deny that Democrats have been overwhelmingly responsible for the degradation of the black community. Even now, who's pushing the vaccine? Now, now, here's, no, 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 here's, no, no, here's no, no, the no, no, thing. You asked me a question. No, but but let, you let, keep let, talking. let me just let, let me just ask you this question. Right. Then, you, then you do this. Who's pushing the vaccine uh -huh. right now? Which political party? I can talk. now. Yes, sir. OK. Here's the, y'all starting to like me. I appreciate it. Answer the it. question. <laughs> Answer the question. What's the problem? I just want to say I have like four other topics I want to get to. Uh, so. we, we go, we go. You I know just, we always run over. I know, Last but time I, 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 an hour over. I know. Okay, so this let, should let, be, let me, this let me, should be real let quick. Me, let me, let me, real quick, okay. real quick. The Democrats and the Republicans have oppressed back people. America is a racist place. No, no bro. Okay. Yes, yes. You didn't answer Every the question. Every statistic indicates that it is. Give me an example. An example, systemic racism. Let's talk about policing. Let's let's talk about policing. I would love to talk about are you, policing. Are you saying but, policing? But let's racist? talk about education first. Because okay. everybody's like, oh, he's Black Lives Matter. He's going to talk about policing. Let's talk but about... But you don't agree. But you don't talk, agree with Black Lives Matter, do you? Let's talk about... As the, as the national organization, Why are right? you spinning me? Why are you, why, just, why are you spinning me? I want you to clarify. Let me talk. Let me talk. Let you talk. Let me talk. But he didn't answer the first question. The first question was, who is pushing the vaccine? Yeah. That's my thing. Answer the question one question at a time. Don't keep rambling on us to all this other crap. I ain't asked you that. I said, who is pushing the vaccine? Democrat or Republican? But That's he serious. said both. No, he exactly. Said, Bull. I mean, okay, let's see. Let's see. Talk. Get the tension out of your chest. <laughs> Fall back. Talk, take I'm a just saying, I think you said more words let, than everybody. Let, so let, let's let, not pretend right. he's not. Right. No, because I'm, it's two against one. Those Those best bad friends. I'm not this ganging up. Bonnie on and Clyde of the Republican Negro Brigade, right? <laughs> <laughs> so, so here we go. Uh, systemic racism, racism, redlining, right? Candace always talks about black economics. The reason why black people are so far behind in the wealth gap is because programs were set in place to deny us loans, 
to deny us home ownership, to deny us access to an education. And this has been a trickle down effect. This is still proven. Sorry, like, what program like, denied us access to education? It, there was uh, education in and of itself. We couldn't. We were not allowed into schools. Yeah, but you said a program. This is. I'm sorry. Systemic racism. Systemic know, it's like racism. An all so what program? programs like what was it? The 1934 Housing Rights Act, I believe it was, denied us access to banking. Right? We couldn't get mortgages. We couldn't get insurance. So here I'm you had, here you had, you here you had black people who couldn't hand down a house to their children. Black people who couldn't get insurance policies. So when they had died, their families couldn't bury them properly. Them fam- their families couldn't have wealth. This is a system. This came under, under Roosevelt. And this is a very real thing. Like, like I'm not a Democrat. Yeah. I'm not a Republican. I am a purveyor of truth to the American you know what's really public. I, I mean, Every- I- but you need to get your facts straight. And see, that's what I don't think he has. He doesn't have solid facts. He's only quoting very minimal facts here. Yeah. You need to get your facts straight to back up your argument. And I think that's been, what you're saying. It covers a multitude of, of emotionalism. Because talking about... She said, okay, but I'm at just like, right. Where, what's the pro, what program are you speaking of? Yeah. Okay. And I think, but I think that's sometimes how as black people, we've always, it's always been just, you know, we have this big umbrella conversation, but ain't no really, it ain't no really full substance to it. No fact checking. No what? No fact checking. No fact checking. And then that just goes on to the next, you talk next conversation, next conversation. Now you got a whole coalition of people that believe the same thing. They don't know why. And we're going based off of what he said, she said, what they said, instead of doing the whole hard evidence. So research for me is I'm going to find multiple articles and I'm going to find multiple articles for both arguments. Because when people research, they're going to research and still looking for a particular thing, but they also, when they do things and they, how they research, many times they're going to find the research based off of whatever that thing is they're trying to find. Mm -hmm. It should, evidence should definitely speak for itself. And you should say, you know, they're going to put it all in the results, but nevertheless, you've got to get multiple sources. Where your facts at, bro? That's right. 